Good morning everybody and welcome. We will very soon be having a service of Eucharist uh, with hymns on this day, the Thursday after Pentecost. I'm Father John Barker. I have the privilege to be the vicar of the parish of All Saints, Harrow Weald, part of the Diocese of London. And during the period when our churches are closed, we are continuing to worship daily with live, live stream services. As I said, today will be a Eucharist. It will begin at around half past ten. And as we prepare for worship, Ella will sing for us now. In Christ alone. People of all saints, I have some very uh, sad news to share with you as we begin our worship this morning. Last night, God gained a wonderful new angel. Hillary has left us after a very brave fight against the cancer which was eating into her. There is a candle burning. It was lit from our paschal candle, the light of Christ showing in Hillary as it did throughout her life. 
Today we dedicate this service to Hilary and let us hold in our prayers Mike and their son and their daughter. It's the Thursday after Pentecost. We've come to worship God. And so as we begin our worship, I greet you all in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. As we come to worship, let us pray together. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Seeing we have a great High Priest who has passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us draw near with a true heart, in full assurance of faith, and make our confession to our Heavenly Father. Let's confess our sins together now. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon us pardon and deliver us from all our sins, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and keep us in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's say together, Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks. We praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Our collect for this day. O Lord, from whom all good things come, grant to us, your humble servants, that by your holy inspiration we may think those things that are good and by your merciful guiding may perform the same. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Our first reading is taken from the second letter of Timothy. Remember Jesus Christ, raised from the dead, a descendant of David. That is my gospel, for which I suffer hardship, even to the point of being chained like a criminal. But the word of God is not chained. Therefore I endure everything for the sake of the elect, so that they may also obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. The saying is sure, if we have died with him, we will also live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him. If we deny him, he will also deny us. If we are faithless, 
he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. Remind them of this and warn them before God that they are to avoid wrangling over words which does no good but only ruins those who are listening. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved by him, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly explaining the word of truth. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now we will sing our first hymn. It's a beautiful, well-loved song. Praise my soul, the King of Heaven. To his feet, your tribute. The Lord be with you and also with you. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the scribes came near and heard them disputing with one another, and seeing that he answered them well, he asked him, Which commandment is the first of all? Jesus answered, The first is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, You shall love your neighbour as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Then the scribe said to him, You are right, teacher. You have truly said that he is one, and besides him there is no other. And to love him with all the heart, and with all the understanding, and with all the strength, and to love one's neighbour as oneself, this is much more important than all whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. When Jesus saw that he answered wisely, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. After that, no one dared to ask him any question. 
This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our text for our brief reflection this morning is one word from the Holy Gospel, and that word is love. And you can find it repeated over and over again in this brief section of the reading from Mark. If you study the New Testament in particular, you will find it countless times. Love is our focus for today. Jesus was asked which commandment is the first of all and he didn't give one, he gave two. He gave the first two commandments where the focus is on love. Love of God and love of others. And he said there's no commandment greater than these. In other words, there is nothing more important than loving God and loving those around us. The scribe, who was clearly an, an, an eminent, nearly said eminent, an eminent theologian, was very impressed. And Jesus saw that that was not because of some academic achievement that deserved a first. He saw that it was because the scribe felt the truth in his heart. And that's why Jesus said, you are not far from the kingdom of God. Because it's one thing to know, it's another thing to do it, to live it. You know, how often when we see or read something, we're filled with enthusiasm. And we say, that's it. We're going to turn over a new chapter in our lives. We're going to exercise every day. We're going to start to read more. We're going to go to church every day. We're going to dust off that Bible and do more. We're going to work in the garden and make it tidy. We're never going to let our rooms get so dirty again. Yeah, we're filled so often with good intentions. It's one thing to intend. It's yet another to do. And loving is something which can only be done. And that's why I feel very sad when I see, well, there's a lot, there's a number of words I feel very sad at their misuse. You know already that I hate this current trend of, oh, bless. It's just as bad in my mind as that throwaway line. You hear the pop stars at the end of the con uh, concerts, love you all, love you all. They don't even know us. Do they love us? It's one thing to say for God, much more important is to do. We're going to flick back to the, um, the epistle uh, in a moment to round it all off. But before, I want to draw in our saint of commemoration today. It's a very little known saint, unless, I don't know if Jane Darlington is with us today from Cornwall, um, if she is, she'll probably say, yes, I know who you're talking about. It's today's saint that we commemorate. He's a very lesser saint. He's called Sedrock. There are a number of churches dedicated to Sedrock in Cornwall, but his name is probably little known elsewhere. You're going to write to me afterwards. Please do if you've heard of Sedrock. Just let me briefly tell you why I use Sedrock as an illustration for loving. Sedrock was born in Cornwall, very large, uh, influential landowning family, uh, something like the 7th century. He could easily have uh, 
gone back to the farm and uh, run the farm and the estate, but he chose to become uh, a man of the church. He went to Ireland to train and was sent back to be a monk and to work in a... Uh, that's Ellis Telephone, just a second. That's okay, right. Um, he was sent back to Cornwall after training to be in a monastery. He became head of a monastery. Having come back to Cornwall, he obviously loved that area and he um, really never wanted to leave. We're told that he only ever left once and that was to go on a pilgrimage to Rome, to the, you know, the cradle of our Catholic Christianity. And uh, when he returned, the crowds came out to meet him to welcome him back. It was raining something that we've almost forgotten uh, what it looks like in, in Harrow. But it was raining in Cornwall. And Cedroc said, throw away line possibly, just like we often say, don't worry, it'll soon pass. It rained for three days afterwards. And Cedroc realised that in his excitement of being home, he'd stopped trusting all to God and he'd started making... Uh, predictions on behalf of God and he realised that he was imperfect in his love for God and so after the third day of rain he took himself back to Rome to do a pilgrimage of penance and after seeking God's forgiveness he came back to Cornwall and never left it again and I, I imagine probably never ever did amateur weather forecasting again. Why do I mention Cedroc? Because Cedroc loved God and loved others, but he wasn't perfect. And we can great, take great comfort from that, because none of us are perfect. But yet, we can still do our best, loving God and loving others. And Paul... So I said the second letter of Timothy. It's the second letter of Paul to Timothy. Paul writing to Timothy right at the end says, Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved by him, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly explaining the word of truth. Do your best. That's all we're asked to do. How can we be approved to him, by him? How can we have no need to be ashamed? How can we rightly explain the word of truth? By loving. Loving God and loving those around us. Love. Let's do our best to love. Today and always. Amen. Let us pray. Let us pray for the church and for the world and let us thank God for his goodness. Our response is, Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your spirit. Dear loving Heavenly Father, as we worship you this morning, we pray that we may love as you love us. May we be filled with your spirit so that we can share your light of love with all those who we meet. Lord, in love, Lord, Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your spirit. And now we pray for this, your world. We pray for the people of the world. May they feel your love. May they feel our love to them. We pray particularly for those who are finding life particularly difficult at this time. We pray for those who are homeless. Those who are hungry. For everybody 
affected by the current pandemic. Lord, give us hope for a brighter tomorrow and may we love each other to make today as good as it possibly can be. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your spirit. And now we pray for those who take on the presumption of leadership. We pray that they may be worthy of that privilege. We pray for those who lead in the United States of America at this time. Lord, help them to understand the feelings of the people of America. Lord, may we show our example in loving unconditionally, irrespective of colour of skin, so-called religion, attitudes, abilities. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your spirit. And now we pray for those who we know and love most dearly. In the silence of our hearts, we commend to you now those who we know particularly need to feel our love and your love. Your love displayed through the presence of your Holy Spirit. From our parish list, we continue to pray for Jane Slade, Angela Kidd, Tony Hassan, Claire Rording and Laura Baker. Lord, come to bless us and fill us with your spirit. Dear loving Heavenly Father, your angels have gained a powerful new recruit in these last hours. We commend to your mercy the immortal soul of Hilary Diamond and we pray for Mike and their children at this time of dreadful sadness for them. Give them strength. May they feel our love and may they feel your love for them. We commend also the immortal souls of Vesna Alice Bedna and Rita Todd and Carla Swift. And we join Raphael in his sadness and at the passing of Arturo Morales. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And as we focus today on love, let us remember that the key essential to be able to love both God, ourselves and one another is to have peace in our souls. Without peace, we cannot love. So let us give thanks that God has made us one in Christ. He has set his seal upon us and as a pledge of what is to come, has given the Spirit to dwell in our hearts. Alleluia! The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. I wave you a sign of peace. Yes. Ella, peace be with you. We prepare the table for the feast.
Blessed be God who feeds the hungry, who raises the poor, who fills our praise. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Everlasting God, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord. For he is your living word. Through him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving him to be born of a woman and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand on high. Through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving Spirit, and made us a people for your own possession. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your holy name, forever praising you and singing. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth, Full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. Who, on the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He gave it to them saying, drink, uh, eat, uh, sorry. He gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them saying, drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim your mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of your kingdom and with this bread and this cup we make the memorial of Christ your Son, our Lord. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Accept through him, our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. 
blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Amen. And now, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. We have mistake. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world grant us And now I invite you to say the prayer of the act of spiritual communion, while Ella and I, on behalf of the whole parish of All Saints, will take the communion. The Let us pray. Lord, in these days of mercy, make us quiet and prayerful. In these days of challenge, make us stronger in you. In these days of emptiness, take possession of us. In these days of waiting, open our hearts to the mystery of your cross. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. And now may the Spirit who hovered over the waters when the world was created, breathe into you the life that he gives. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be with you and with all those whom you love, today and always. Amen. And now we are able to have our final hymn, and it reflects our thoughts throughout the reflection about showing God's light through our love. And the important thing is to receive God's love through his life. Lord, the light of your love is shining. Mm -hmm. Lord, the light of your love is shining in the midst of the darkness, shining, 
Jesus, light of the world, shine upon us. Set us free by the truth you now bring us. Shine on me. Shine on me. Shine, Jesus, shine. Fill this land with the Father's glory. Place, Spirit, place. Set our hearts on fire. Forever flow. Flood the nations with grace and mercy. Send forth your heart. Lord, and let there be light. Lord, I come to your awesome presence. From the shadows into your radiance, by the blood I may enter your brightness. Search me, try me, consume all my darkness. Shine on me, shine on me, shine, Jesus, shine, fill this land. With the Father's glory, place, spirit, place, set our hearts on fire. Flow, river, flow, flood the nations with grace and mercy. Send forth your word, Lord, and let the as we gaze on your kingly brightness, so our faces display your likeness, ever changing from glory to glory, mirrored here may our lives tell the story. Shine on me, shine on me, shine, Jesus, shine, fill this land with the Father's glory, place, spirit, place, set our hearts on fire. Flow, river, flow, flood the nations with grace and mercy. Send forth your word, Lord, and let there be Maybe our hearts are sad, but still, filled with the Spirit's power, let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us again today for our worship. You may have heard, uh, I don't need to tell you, Ella's ear is improving and with it her ability to be able to hear herself singing and uh, we thank God for her return to help and for the wonder of the singing which she does for us at each of our Eucharistic services. Yes, our hearts are sad. We've lost a dear friend and a wonderful servant of Christ, but let us... Never stop loving. Let us love one another. Let us love God. And filled with his light, let us love ourselves. I hope this day will be blessed and will be for each of you.
as good as it possibly can be. Uh, we will have live worship again tomorrow. It will be at 10.30 and it will be morning prayer. But there's a whole day in front of us. Let's use it to love and serve the Lord. And so I say goodbye to you. And I think Ella's going to be singing He's Got the Whole World in His Hands. Yes, today she is going to be singing He's Got the Whole World in His Hands. And that is exactly the truth. And it's exactly why we can love and we must love. Bye for me. Sound.